Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm coming to you from my bathroom. I am, as you can see, um, I'm going to show you what I do with the gender bender to clean my brushes. And I'm sorry, it's a weird angle and everything, but I needed my sink and that's just what happened. Um, okay, so I have this little brush rack, which was probably one of the best purchases I have made. <laughs> It, um, you literally just put it together with some screws and there it is. Um, I got it from Amazon, if you're wondering. But it's really cool because you can set them in there like this when you're not using them. Or when you dry them, you can go up from the bottom and put them in like that. So then they are drip drying here. So, um, I am... I'm gonna go ahead. I guess I'll put that there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, and I have. I cut up my gender bender. So this is what I have. Um, now it comes in a full size bar, full size chunk bar. So it's a lot bigger than this. But for the purposes of doing brushes, I've done it with the whole bar, and this is really just. Um, it saves on your on the amount you're going to use. So, um, pretty cool. So, I have that. I also have this, which I also got from Amazon, uh, which I just scrub my brushes on it after I get the gender bender on there, put some water on, and um, it really helps cleanse the brushes. So, it's just a little pad. Um, so, I have... I have different ones that I'm going to be doing. These are my bigger ones and I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can see the the stuff coming off of these. Like there's powder. It's crazy. And this one I actually used the bronzer that we have so it's kind of um, a wet filmy kind um, of dirty so I have these. I'm also going to do, I've never done a blending sponge before, but I'm going to do it today. So we'll see. This is normally purple and this is what it is. So yay. That's exciting. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'll start a little bit of warm water. Um, I don't know where to put everything. I don't have a counter anymore. I just have, sorry, I don't have a counter anymore. I just have like the little stand alone little sink, the white sink, and it is throwing me. Um, I probably got it done, my bathroom was done probably a little over a year ago, and I'm still not used to it because I don't have anywhere to put all my stuff, and which is good in one sense because then I don't clutter everything. But in the other sense, I'm like, man, where do I put all my stuff when I want to do stuff on here? Anywho. Okay. So we're going to do a little warm water. Um, hopefully you can hear me. So I'm going to get it wet first. So wet brush. I am going to rub it on the gender bender. And already you can see the stuff just coming off of it. That is crazy. Make sure I get it all the way down to the bottom because I'm a little spazzy with this. I like my brushes clean. Okay, so here's here it is with the gender bender on it. My hand soapy. Okay, it's hard to hold. Okay, so what I do is I put it on here. You can kind of see it in the corner. Here, let's see if I can. There we go. That's a little better. So I'm going to do this, and if you can see it, it is coming off nicely. Yay. Oh, much better. And I like to do a double, so I like to go back in with my gender bender again once I got the bulk of it off, you know. I like to go back in, and I like to get it back on there and do the whole thing over again. 
And I like that squeaky sound because that means it's clean. It makes me happy. So, oh. yes. All right, and now it is a totally different color at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay, if I do it this way. Um, it's like a white, like a purple to white kind of look. And um, that's what it, uh, it originally came in, was that. So when I have the bronzer and everything on it, or the contour and stuff, then it causes it to obviously change to different color, just like these. You know, they're all different colors. This one has my blush on it. These have different things. I think this is my uh, setting, setting powder. And that's also a blush. Whew. These are bad. Okay. So let me do, let me go ahead and do the sponge. Because I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. So this is really bad. Like, I don't know when the last time I did a sponge was. Obviously not, not very clean, huh? <laughs> So, we're hoping to get as close to purple. I'm sure it's going to have some kind of fading to it, but I'm looking to get as close to the purple as I can. Already it looks a little cleaner. <laughs> That's positive. So, we're going to go back in. Oh my gosh, look. Uh, That's what's coming off. Oh my gosh, this has a lot of it. <laughs> and this is the stuff that you put on your face when you are um, doing your makeup. Um, I mean, you're you're continually putting that on your face. So the ginger bender has been awesome for me. I have loved it. Um, maybe I shouldn't scrub. Maybe I should just... Oh, that's a good idea. See that. Ow. It's kind of hot, though. I, had, I like, dug, in, dug my sponge into the, um, the little cleaner thing, the brush rinser pad, and caused a little bit of friction there. Okay. Okay. Let me squeeze it dry here. So we're getting there. I don't know if you can see it. This side is almost all purple. This side, obviously, I use a little bit more, and it still has that tan up here, but it is so much cleaner than it was. So. I have a tendency to just, when I have sponges, um, I throw them away. And that can get expensive if you use them a lot. I'm going to wash it one more time to see if I can get it even cleaner. But that can get expensive, so um, why not get a $9 gender bender bar and go to town with it and see if you can clean it off. Yeah, see? It's still coming out tan, so we're gonna try and get as much off as we can. And I'm I'm just gonna wash it twice. So, oh my god, that's awesome! That's really cleaning off really well. Like I said, I haven't done a sponge yet. Um, so this is my first experience with that. Okay, I'm going to bring it out and show you the difference. I should have taken a before and after. Back on it. Look at that. It is almost all purple. <laughs> There's a slight tint up here where I rubbed it on the, <laughs> oops, rubbed it on the tip, but, um, seriously. That's awesome. 
I'm excited. So this is what it does to your brushes. It's cleaning them so well. I love it. It's my favorite. So here's, this one was my setting spray, or setting brush. Seriously, if you could see my sink and how crazy it is when I do these. It's just gross. Like, to know that you put that stuff on your face, like if you didn't clean them the time before, there it is again, and it just comes right off. wasn't as deep in there so one time should probably be good. The um more of the liquid thing which was my um the last two were liquid and those you have to actually do a couple times but the powder ones come off so well. Not a problem at all. Um so yeah that's what I do. They are pretty awesome. I am excited about this ginger vendor. Um, I'm probably going to do a before and after of my of my sp this sponge. Show a before and after of that. So I will head off here, but um, like and subscribe to my page so you can see more cool things. But this is the ginger vendor. Um, it just comes in a chunk bar and. Um, I have loved it. I have not looked back from a single purchase. I've used every other makeup um, cleaner out there and I cannot find anything that even compares to this. This will also take um, spots out of floors I've heard, um, like carpet. So pretty awesome stuff. Um, check out my webpage, check out my um, Facebook page. <laughs> I have a VIP page on there. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and happy brush cleaning. <laughs>